Oh, hi guys. Casual, just had to climb up on the counter to hit record so my camera would have the right color correction for my skin tone. <laughs> so I just got back from doing some major damage at the grocery store. I got a bag from Whole Foods and I got a bag from Trader Joe's and it's all vegan. And I thought you guys would like to see what I got because I know it can be a bit of a struggle, especially when you first um, decide that you wanna attempt to go vegan. You're kinda like, what do I buy? <laughs> what do I eat? I don't know. Um, so I'm here to help you. I have been vegan for almost five years now and um, I'm just gonna share my favorite foods. I mean, I wouldn't say these are all my favorite foods, but, cause some of it's already in my fridge, but this is just the stuff that I bought today, which it's a good starting point, okay? I'll share with you guys. So I like to get most of my stuff from Trader Joe's because it's much more affordable. Um, so I get all of my staples from there. So I just have some basic stuff like uh, organic mixed berries. I like using these in smoothies really quick and easy in the morning. Um, then we have some mushrooms. I'm gonna go through the basic stuff really fast because I think we all know what produce is. Uh, some red grapes, a bag of pears, love pears. Apples, of course, are in season right now. It is fall, so had to get some apples. I would like to go apple picking myself, but for now, these will do. Um, we have some organic vegetarian chili. Now this is labeled vegetarian, but when I look at the ingredients, I don't see how this could possibly not be vegan. I'm not sure if this is just an error on their part or if there's just something hidden in here maybe that's not vegan, but I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's vegan. Uh, this is really, really good. I actually like making this, um, lately I've been doing a baked potato, opening it up, and then putting chili and cheese and Fritos. Yeah, that's that's as good as it sounds. Then for convenience sake, I always get these Asian vegetables. I like just doing this with brown rice and then maybe some kind of, um, if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll do some kind of uh, like frozen mock meat. So I think um, in here I got some garden chicken. I'll show it in a second. Uh, okay. Sticking to Trader Joe's, I don't want to get them mixed up so you know what's from where. Um, some little frozen falafel. This is amazing for salads. I really like making a salad with um, like cucumber and tomato and then this on top. Really, really good. And then like some, you could do like a, more like a, a Greek style dressing or I use... I use like a, a vegan Caesar. This is from the brand Follow Your Heart. I really like this dressing. All right, next we have, ooh, this is a seasonal item. It is apple cider jam. This looked amazing. Couldn't pass that up. And then I paired this with some cinnamon raisin toast. This is the Ezekiel bread. I feel like it's a little bit healthier than normal bread. I think it's more whole grain. Then I also got some of this crunchy salted peanut butter. What I love about this is that it also has flax and chia in it, which if you guys don't know, omega-3s are very beneficial and flax and chia are both really high in omega-3. So this is a good way to kind of sneak it in. It's got just some basic old pasta sauce. Ooh, girl, this. This has been my crack for a while now. This is the corn and chili tomato -less salsa. It's pretty much just corn and like mustard seed, some sugar, some peppers. It sounds a little weird, but it's so good. We got some avocados, of course. I always get these little wraps to keep in my fridge for the days where I'm on the go or have a lot of work or just something is kind of like making me not want to take the time to make food. So this one is a spicy lentil wrap and this one is a veggie wrap with hummus. Just a few more things, uh, some cereal. This is the Super Nutty Toffee Clusters cereal. This really reminds me of like Honey Bunches of Oats if you're familiar with that. Then we have some organic teriyaki seaweed. 
I wasn't always a seaweed lover until I started eating teriyaki seaweed. Life changing. I will eat this entire six pack. It's a bit of a problem. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem, guys. Then we have some tortilla chips. These are made with flaxseed because again, Trader Joe's, you know what, they just, they have my back with the omega-3s. They put it in the peanut butter. They put it in the tortilla chips. They're just really, they're really looking out for me and I appreciate it. And then last but not least, I got, this is also a seasonal fall item. Trader Joe's is always so cute with their like seasonal section, okay? They have these cornbread crisps. This is my second time buying these. If you are a cornbread lover, gotta get these. It literally tastes like cornbread. So good. So that does it for Trader Joe's. I'm gonna kinda put this back and then we'll dig into what I got from Whole Foods. Okay, so Whole Foods is a little bit more of my junky food. <laughs> like if you thought the Trader Joe's stuff was junk food, um, you're not ready for what I'm about to show you in here. Okay, um, <laughs> so pretty much the only things that I get from Whole Foods are things that I can't get at Trader Joe's. So this is what we got. Vegan cookie dough, guys. Vegan cookie dough. I actually have not tried this yet. This is um, gluten-free. It's from a company called Raised. Um, or natural decadence, maybe raised gluten free. I'm not sure. I think it's called natural decadence. Anyway, you can bake these if you want, but it's also just edible raw, and I love, love, love cookie dough. So I'm gonna crack into this tonight. Um, what else? Okay, this is the meat that I was telling you guys about if I was gonna make a stir fry dish. This is the Mandarin Orange Crispy Chicken. If you haven't had fake meat before, um, Gardein is definitely the brand that you want to try first. Okay, take it from me. I've tried them all. This is honestly the best it's gonna get. So, I recommend this, it's really good. Then we have, oh, breakfast burritos. These are really quick and easy. They're from the brand Sweet Earth. They have like a tofu scramble and potatoes and peppers and I smother it in ketchup and I just eat it. It's just really quick and easy, really good. Then we have some mac and cheese. So I recently discovered this. Uh, this is the Annie's Organic Vegan Shell Pasta with Creamy Sauce. This is quite literally the only vegan mac and cheese that I've ever liked from a grocery store. It's still not amazing, but it's by far the best one on the market and I do like it with a little bit of like cracked pepper, it's good. I also really like putting this on pizza. So this next thing has been my obsession for about five months now. I cannot go even one week without having it. Really, I can't go even like three days without having it. I keep going back and just getting more. I'm quite literally addicted. And it's not, I mean, it's actually good for you. Watermelon juice. I cannot get enough of this, you guys. I don't know what it is. I've always loved watermelon, but the juice, I think this is the most thirst quenching liquid in the world. It just makes me feel so quenched. <laughs> don't you just like the word quenched? It's nice, right? I just feel quenched just saying quenched. This is a new product that I tried the mango flavor, but I haven't tried this berry flavor, so I wanted to give it a whirl. It is the Kite Hill Probiotic Yogurt Drink. So this isn't something that I would probably recommend for a starter vegan. Um, I would just try the normal yogurt first, which is also something I got in here. This I would really recommend if you're a starter vegan the Kite Hill yogurt. It tastes really similar to traditional dairy yogurt, but it's better for you and no animals are harmed in the making. So love that. But this, if you're trying to get in your probiotics, and I don't know what it is with me, but for whatever reason, I can't, I can't get on a schedule of taking a pill. I just don't like it. I, I'm just, I don't know. But waking up in the morning and having a little drink of this, it just, seems like an easier way for me to get my probiotics. So, got that guy. 
Um, getting into some more exciting things. I got some Ben and Jerry's peanut butter and cookies ice cream. This is by far the best uh, Ben and Jerry's vegan flavor. I also got these soy milk ice cream sandwiches. Really good. This is something new I've never seen before and I got really excited. Whenever I see that something's vegan, I just get really excited. Wait, this is vegan, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? There we go. Anyway, this is like a hostess cupcake. Um, it's Better Bites Mostess Cupcake with coconut cream filling. I used to love the hostess cupcakes. I literally just want to try this now. Can we just, can we just work in a little taste test? <laughs> I'm just gonna work in a little taste test, guys. I'm not sure, was I supposed to let this thaw out? We're going in, Oh, This looks really moist. All right. Oh wow, that top is hard. Mm. That really tastes like the real thing. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I need help, all right. I'm gonna get back into that later. Back to our, um, regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I probably have this all over my face, don't I? Do I? I bet you I do. That's okay. Um, I also grabbed some almond milk because I forgot it at Trader Joe's. And then another new and exciting vegan product. Kite Hill came out, I'm getting chocolate on everything. <laughs> Kite Hill came out with jalapeno cream cheese. So Kite Hill is the only brand of cream cheese that gets the Kalel stamp of approval. And I have not tried this kind yet, but I bet it's gonna be amazing. So with this, I got some everything bagels, match made in heaven. It's gonna be so good. I already know it. Um, only a few more things left. This is really basic, but mild salsa. <laughs> I recently started eating this and I hadn't had it in years and now I'm addicted. I go through a jar every single week. Love it. We got a whole coconut. One of my favorite things ever is to wake up first thing in the morning, really parched, feeling just, I don't know, whenever I wake up, I, I usually don't feel very good. <laughs> I feel like I sleep with my mouth open, my mouth feels gross and I had a lot of nightmares. I always have nightmares, I don't know why, but I always wake up feeling a little like not happy about life. So when I crack one of these open and it's the first thing I drink, it just kind of makes me feel supercharged in some way. That and the watermelon juice, both of these. Uh, this is just one more yogurt. So I got a strawberry and a vanilla. And these are by far my favorite cookie. They are the Divi's Vegan Chocolate Brownie Cookies. Absolutely, by far, the best cookie I've ever had in my entire life. And last but not least, we got some cheese. So, vegan cheese is probably one of the most difficult substitutes to feel happy about. <laughs> okay, I... I hate to talk down on a brand, but please do not get diet cheese. Anyone, please, no. It's just, I feel like it's really giving vegans a bad name. It's absolutely terrible. So, Chow Cheese, that's a, the brand is Field Roast. The name of the cheese is Chow Cheese. It's really good, but I recently discovered that Follow Your Heart has reformulated their cheese, and it's now very similar to Chow Cheese's recipe but I feel like even better. So I've tried Pepper Jack, which is so, so, so good. I can't say it enough. So I thought I would get the provolone this time around and just see what this is about. So that pretty much does it. Um, I hope you guys were entertained by this. I don't know. This was just a really requested video. So I thought I would make it and just share with you guys. I'd be really interested to know what your guys' favorite vegan food products are. 
there's just more and more popping up every damn day and it's very exciting. So I would love to know. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of the vegan queen and I already know everything. So please prove me wrong. Give me some new suggestions. I would be very excited about that. But okay, I have to put all of this away right now before it starts melting. My ice cream is probably melted, but that's okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys really soon. I'm actually starting this thing. I started it today where I'm going to be vlogging every single day. I'll explain more in my next video, but okay. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I don't have a bunch of chocolate on my face still. And if I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, bye. And now I can eat my cupcake. <laughs> this is actually really good. I'm just, still, I'm just still waiting for the cream filling. Like, where you at? There's not very much cream filling. <laughs>